Inserting a chart couldn't be easier whether you're doing it in Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, or Word. Here I'll demonstrate creating a chart in Excel. The first task is to select the data that you want to convert to a chart. I'm going to select this series of cities here in this Division Sales Worksheet, selecting the city names, which I want to include in the chart, and their totals using the Control key to select this secondary range. So I'm going to create a pie chart that will show each city and their sales for the year. All I have to do now is go to the Insert tab and choose the type of chart I want to create. As I said, I want to create a pie chart, so I'll click the Pie button here and then choose 3D Pie. Now this chart can be copied and pasted into any other worksheet in your Excel workbook, into a Word document, or into a PowerPoint presentation. You can also resize it right here in the window by hovering over a corner handle and dragging out, making the chart larger. You can also resize and reformat all the parts of the chart. For example, I'm going to click on the legend here and go to the Home tab and bump up the font size just a bit. I can also use the Chart Tools here and go to the Format tab to change, for example, the appearance of the legend. I can give it a fill behind it, like so. Or I can go to the Layout tab and choose the position of the legend. For example, I'll choose Show Legend at Bottom and now it spreads out the legend across beneath the pie. Here on the Layout tab, I can also add a chart title. I'm going to choose a Centered Overlay title, which means it will partially obscure the chart. And then all I have to do is type the title. And press the Enter key. Notice I've typed it here in the formula bar, and when I press Enter, it appears in the title. I can reposition this by hovering over it. When I get a four-headed arrow, I can move it off to the right. And then again, I can go back to the Home tab and increase the size of the title as well. Now, the legend is telling everyone which pie slice represents which city based on the colors. If I don't like one of the colors, I can click that pie slice and then click it again to isolate the selection to just that slice and then using the Format tab, I can choose my Shape Fill and pick a different color. I don't want to pick something that's too close to any other slice, so I'll keep going, moving around in the colors until I like what I see. And I'm going to choose this dark blue. Notice that the legend changes as well. 